Hey, what's up everybody? It's Eric Taylor, Taylor to Coaching. Continuing my Midheaven series with the Virgo Midheaven. Woo! Mutable Earth, Mercury in the Midheaven, the 10th house. So who could this be? Sagittarius rising, Scorpio rising, maybe even Capricorn. But it, for the most part, you'll see a Sag rising and some Scorpio risings like yours truly. This is my placement. All right, so who are some of the famous people? And we'll get to where they're coming from. The Pisces I see. Very deep, okay? Mutable, water, fourth house, fifth house, whatever it is, the I see. <laughs> um, okay. So... You know, first of all, you're going to be logical, analytical, critical, self-critical, details, organized. That's Virgo. So some of these famous people will go with the history first. Diana Ross, Bob Marley, Nelson Mandela, um, Marlon Brando. You got Scarlett Johansson, Brad Pitt, Taylor Swift, Eminem, Alicia Keys, Jessica Biel, Justin Bieber, E Complete. Um, J Janelle Aiko, Eric Taylor, um, I think Ozzy Osbourne, I already told you Bob Marley, I mean, come on, this list, insane, Ellen DeGeneres, so what were they like growing up? Well, if you've got this Pisces I see, things were not so clear, you were kind of growing up in a fog, you might have been the youngest child. Things could have been your parents sort of created this fantasy world for you, this fake reality. It was film and photography and dance and spirituality, imagination, creative, very, you know, creative upbringing. But things were a little unrealistic and idealistic. You know, we're talking about Neptune and Jupiter and the IC. So maybe your parents were getting a divorce. Maybe one of your parents was unavailable. Maybe one of them died. You know, this is a placement where, you know, you are prepared to go to the midheaven, which is the career, fame, how you're known, recognized in the world, your father figure, the authority. And you're coming from the IC where things were not presented to you in a, in a real sense. It was very Neptunian, very Jupiter, you know? And so now, what do you want to do? You want... Oh, Ed, Nor Ed Norton's got this placement, right? I said Brad Pitt, Scarlett Johansson. You want... Um, you want it to be real. You want to be of service to people because you're coming from such a spiritual, creative place. You don't want the fantasy anymore. Now... In the Virgo Midheaven, you want the details, the reality, the truth, right? That's what you care about in your career. So when you get a Virgo Midheaven, whether they're Sag rising or Scorpio rising, they're going to be intuitive. They're going to be of service. They'll be the best at making things perfect, right? Detail. Um, they'll be tough on themselves <laughs> because they don't want... They don't want any fakeness. They don't want the fantasy anymore because they came from that. And they look back and they're like, oh, my life, you know, my childhood was, was this or that. Well, now they're getting the real dose of what it really was. Okay? I know for me, my father was murdered when I was six. And, you know, my mom got remarried. And my stepfather, all this trouble. And my mom was shot. And, I mean, it was just my life was a movie. And so... I was kind of forced to be, uh, I felt responsible for my mother and my sister at six years old. I was a, a friend, a brother, a, a son, a father, but I went to my own creative space and played, even though I had an older sibling, five years older, and cousins, I felt sometimes very alone. And I had a ton of friends, very popular, all that stuff. But in my own mind, I, you know, started writing stories and wrote a murder mystery and, and, and played, you know, sports. Adults came to me when they wanted to learn about sports. I knew every stat for baseball, basketball, football, every card, and I create these games and I have these books. 
was like this little old man and people were, were, were amazed by me. Well, that's that, you know, Pisces, like just being imaginative and creative and just, you know, and like a little old pooba. You know, and then you see it in these people when they go out to work. Look at the Diana Ross, the Bob Marley, Nelson Mandela. You you want to you want to take that spirituality and that fantasy, but then take that fantasy in the analytical, logical way to present it to help be of service to the world, to heal the world, to make it better, and use your skills and talents to do so. So these people, whatever career they do, and let's go out in this heat and sun for you, they are going to be amazing. <clears throat> they can be amazing actors and writers and rappers. And I mean, come on, Eminem, you know about his, you know, childhood. Barb Molly, the father wasn't around. Eminem's dad wasn't around. You know, I don't know. No, oh, Elvis Presley had this. Kim Kardashian. Okay. Her father died, my father died. So you, you, you're seeing the, the Virgo midheaven. They're on a mission. And check out my song, My Mission by Ecomplete, ecompleteentertainment.com. So what's my mission as I come to this planet? Move over Saturn because your rings can't stand it. I slammed it as my breath exhaled. And I'm coming through the oceans like orca to whale. Nine months in jail from the womb to the tomb. I was born in September, but I was ready in June. Eager to patrol with my shining soul. I plan to be the glue to the globe. There's more to it, but you know. But Taylor 2 Coaching, hit me up. Taylor 2 Coaching at gmail.com. You gotta get your birth chart done. So you know if you're a Capricorn rising, a Sag rising, or Scorpio rising. And if your midheaven is in the ninth house, the 10th house, or the 11th house like me, okay? And you Virgo midheaven people, you are so needed. Thank you, Taylor Swift. Thank you, Justin Bieber, Ellen DeGeneres, you know, um, Brad Pitt. Scarlett Johansson, right? There's this, these people are not selfish people. They're selfless. And they're really here for humanity to make humanity better. Because they've seen some stuff in their childhood. You know? The Scorpio Risings might have seen a little bit more. The Sag Risings, they saw stuff, but they were, you know, they're more, they're gonna be more optimistic. No matter what comes their way, it's that Jupiter is the chart ruler. For the Scorpio, the chart ruler is the Mars and the Pluto. So that's why they've been through some stuff. Like your boy, you complete. Eric Taylor, Taylor G Coaching. So let's get this birth chart done. Let's figure out the best way to use your midheaven, your Virgo midheaven, and learn about your North Node and your career. Okay? Because remember, this is Mercury, right? Where Mercury is excelled in Virgo. When you got the Virgo midheaven, you love to communicate you're very verbal but you're precise you do not like stupid people dumb people lazy people you're a workaholic you grind 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 and you're a bit of a perfectionist you can't do that okay trying to be a perfectionist can and it can kill creativity and and, and advancement and don't be so hard on yourself and others now remember, when the Virgo Midheaven comes to a job, they're gonna assess things, analyze it, da da da, and make it better. So they're great, you know? The Virgo Sun, it's rough. But Virgo Mercury, Virgo Midheaven, Virgo Rising, it's a little bit easier and a little bit better and so needed, even at Virgo Moon, okay? So get your birth chart done. Do some relationship coaching with your boy. Check out TaylorToYouCoaching.com, the social media. Please like and subscribe down below with the flow. You know how your boy go. My Virgo mid heaven is the only way to go. You know. Um, but uh, and I worked with Diana Ross. She's amazing. I met her. Um, classy. Oh, Alicia Keys has the Virgo mid heaven, I believe too. Her and Alicia. Okay. Yeah. They're both, uh, I think, Aquarius with the Sag rising. Oof. Deep, deep, deep. But you see the theme of caring about humanity and the collective and being of service to mankind? That's who we are. That's who I am. That's why I'm here doing this for you. Chronic illness coaching, relationship coaching, tailored to coaching, astrology, sinistry, 
relationship compatibility and big three astrology learning your sun moon rising sign all equals the part of fortune and the placements and meaning only fifty dollars my birth chart sale 100 to august 1st and it's going back up to 150 hit me up i got you but the virgo midheaven you're something <laughs> oh and you guys love to correct people in social media about you know their punctuality you'll be critical watching youtube videos what they're saying are they pronouncing their words properly and clearly well i had to my mom was a teacher she would be riding me and on me but with that i see of pisces i was in a dream world and then you wake up and you get to the reality of the world and you're like oh oh okay and that's virgo in the midheaven all right Hit your boy up. It's hot out here. It's like 106 today. But uh, I had to come out here for you, Virgo Midheaven. Because you're the earth. You're the earth. Young man, righteousness for Bob Marley, Nelson Mandela. All right. Kings. <sighs> Let's go inside. I'll show you the Virgo Midheaven on the chart. Eric Taylor. Tailor to you coaching. Be logical, critical. You. And if they're messy, it's because they're so organized and clean up here. You know, their workspace at work, whatever. But remember, it's mutable earth, so they'll do whatever needs to be done in a job, in a school setting, any a nurse, doctor, lawyer, they can do it all and they'll get it done with precision but they can also be good assistants to help others do their best and become their best. You heard me? All right, Virgo Midheaven, it's hot, man. All right, Taylor Two coaching back inside. Virgo Midheaven, there you go. The MC Midheaven. This happens to be in the 11th house. This is for a Scorpio rising, but it can be the Sag rising, right? So just want to give you an example to show you how it could play out. And also when I was talking about the famous people, I forgot like Bruce Lee. I mean, you know, I think I mentioned Nelson Mandela, maybe Ozzy Osbourne and Norian, but you know, you basically think of these people all about service, right? Alicia Keys, Ellen DeGeneres, Taylor Swift, Diana Ross, these people, big hearts, right? And they're coming from that Pisces I see, okay? So, you know, you really understand that people can, they can come from wherever they grew up and then when they go out into the real world, they will apply that I see energy to their midheaven. So these people could be great lawyers, writers, actors, doctors, you know, anything with their hands, massage therapists, life coaches, relationship coaches, astrologers, but it's about service, okay? So Virgo Midheaven, you're done. Hit me up, Eric Taylor, Taylor Two Coaching. Please like, share, subscribe, follow down below the social media at taylor 2 c Facebook and Instagram, tailored to you coaching. All right, taylor2coaching.com. And um, just tell a friend, tell a friend, and tell a friend, you know. Get your birth chart done. It will be a blessing. This is astro.com, by the way, too. And it's just a great site. And um, learn about yourself. Real, you know, knowledge of self and, and true love through astrology. Because it's the roadmap to your life. And when you know this, and then you know your degrees and put some numerology in it and you get a thorough 12 house birth chart reading and custom video summary for me it will blow your mind virgo midheaven i salute you i am you and i'm out